Okay, so welcome back. So now we're going to do an example of a uh, uh, application type problem using carbon-14 dating. So I'm going to read the problem and then we'll jump right in. It says the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. Express the amount of carbon-14 remaining as a function of time, t. Okay, great. So now we want to write this as a function of t. So Okay, <clears throat> or we could write this, since we're using a naught, a of t, right? And so now we know the half-life is 5730, so we know that when 57, when 5730 years passes, that we have half left over. So that means we will have one half a naught when t is equal to 5730. Right? Now, I can set the, the equation, right? I can set up the equation like that and then go through the process and uh, solve for k, but why do that when I've already gone through the, the uh, uh, derivation of that formula, right? So I know k is equal to what? It's going to be, this is half-life, right? So we already did, it's going to be the natural log of one-half divided by um, what? the half-life. So that's going to be 5, 57, 30. So now I can just get k directly without having to go through the derivation again, right? So let's do that. So now, so I take the natural log of a half divided by 57, 30. And I get a constant of approximately negative point zero 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 one two zero nine. Six, eight, zero, nine, four. So, okay. Okay. So that's the approximate constant, right? Okay. Now, instead of using a constant, right, instead of using the, this uh, approximation, I can just stick this whole thing in there, right? So I could just stick this whole thing in the equation. So let's do that. That'll be a much better approximation. I don't have to worry about round off error. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in for K. So now my formula becomes what? A of T uh, <coughs> equals a naught e to the natural log of a half divided by fifty seven thirty um, times t. Oops. times t. Now, now, now remember, now remember, 
the derivation. Remember the other formula. So this is what I was talking about earlier. I could actually rewrite this, and I'm not going to der derive it, but remember, this is also what? Um, um, A of T equals A naught times one half to the T divided by the half life, which is fifty seven thirty. Okay, so this is the formula that I was telling you about before. So I can rearrange this and then get to this. So this is the other way of writing this formula. If you know the half-life, right, which we do in this case, okay? But I'm just, again, incidentally, I'm showing you that, okay? So, but, they mod it's the same model. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so anything else? <clears throat> okay, no, that's it. Have a great day.